What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays Nocturne Rebirth. We're we're going to see chaos. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Everything will be great. Can I pick the amulet herb and just? Is that a thing? Yeah. Where is the herb? I was promised. This motherfucker, damn it! Give me the herb, man. Where is the fucking herb? At? I need to know where your herb's at, man. I really need to know. All right, all right, all right. This is this is fine. I'm just gonna walk into this vampire's house. It's gonna be all good. It's gonna be good. It's... Master, I have brought Madame Luna here as you requested. Good work, she'll feel. You can leave now. Yes. I shall now take my leave. Ah. Uh, yes? Uh, no. It's it's nothing. Thank you very much for bringing me here, Shuffle. You are welcome, Luna. How about taking a seat? Uh, okay, thank you. Alright. This will be fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is good. Now then, what brings you all the way to this remote place? Do you have any business with me? Do you have business with me? What's the matter? Um, Shilfield knows about it, so you should. I don't remember hearing a word about it out of your mouth. I, I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Reviel is currently unconscious due to a strong curse. And I want to remove it as soon as possible. But our village priest was unable to remove it. That was when I remembered about you. I remember that you've grown a surprisingly large you've grown a surprisingly large variety of herbs. So I'm wondering if you have an herb that can remove enough. Uh, it's simply absurd. Uh, it's meaningless, in fact. Reviel doesn't desire that. If anything, you're only satisfying your ego by trying to help him. No, I... The Dark Chains curse isn't enough to kill him. You don't know Reviel at all. Well, it's true that I don't know Mr. Reviel very well. But the fact is that he's suffering right now. I can't just leave him alone. Reviel is suffering? I highly doubt so. Time flows eternally for him and me, and everything continuously repeats itself as usual, so much that it bores him. Only by putting his life on the line, channeling all his strength into his swords and putting all his body, mind and soul into fighting, can he actually feel alive. The one thing that we loathe the most, the most is not despair, but peace. I don't understand you. I just don't understand you. Reviel and I are different from you human beings. At any rate, we understand each other more than you understand us. No, that's not true. Both you and Mr. Reviel are no different from any human, including me. What a fool. It looks like you still don't understand at all who you're dealing with, do you? Yes, I'm a fool. And it's because of that that I can't understand something so complicated. I just want to help Mr. Reviel. That's truly all there is to it. Since you look to be a wise man, please lend me, a fool, your wisdom. I see. Sir Reviel has found himself stuck with an annoying human. You ought to have at least gotten an inkling that Reviel is the worst natural enemy of you humans. That being said, why do you still wish to help him? I... I believe in Mr. Reviel. Good grief. Reviel sure is one hell of an annoying human to deal with. Chaos? What is this? It's your Gurdjassil sprout. <laughs> it's your Gurdjassil. It's your It's your Gurdjassil. It's your Gurdjassil. Your Gurdjassil sprout. It can remove the curse on Reviel, as well restore lost energy. Your Gurdjassil sprout. Are, 
Are you sure about giving such a rare item to me? My studies and experiments are mostly done. I don't need it anymore. Th thank you so much. I'll be certain to put it to good use. You can just still sprout get. All right. I, 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 I can't keep a voice the same consistent. I, there's nothing I can do consistent in this Let's Play series. I'm sorry. I'm trying. She'll feel. Just listening out the door and shit. Yes, master. Please escort this lady to outside this territory. As you wish, master. Come, Luna. Let's go. Uh, um. I truly have to thank both of you. You went to this extent to help me even though I have imposed myself on you. You will regret your decision. Oh shit. I'll be leaving now. Oh shit. Is Ravio gonna get pissed? Oh, to the nose. It's in bad taste to be eavesdropping, you know? Well, what does it matter? So, how do you find my beloved student, Chaos? Nothing much. She's merely a worthless human being. Is that... what you really think, Chaos? I would suppose not. If that's truly what you think, then that familiar of yours would... were still. Whoa, scary. I never imagined you'd make such a look on your face. Oh well, never mind. What you do is no concern to me, anyway. That aside, it's time for me to proceed with my plan. Are you almost done? Yes. In fact, I found a pretty good location to execute the plan. All I need to do now is gather the two to three anomalies. I also have eyes on a few guinea pigs. Oh, I can't wait. Hmm. You can just sit back and watch my performance. I'll show you something interesting soon enough. Chaos knows. Hmm. But I think he's like, he's just, he's being the neutral or something. I don't know. Oh shit. The moon shines before my eyes. There wasn't a particular reason I was looking at the moon. I didn't feel like doing it either. It just so happened before I knew it, I was gazing at the moon floating in the sky. There was nothing but a sea of sand all around me. I didn't know if it was right yet. And all the things I had on were a black coat and a pair of steel swords strapped to my waist. Wait, I didn't have any aim or purpose. I was simply walking non-stop in a mindless manner. Monsters would occasionally attack me, and I had only two swords to rely on. I didn't do that. I had all the while been swinging my swords at monsters. It was all for the sake of killing for survival. The fuck was that? Feel of my swords, coupled with my endless vagabondism, it was everything to me. I really got off on it. Rex, son. Soon, I met two entities who had the same form as me, and were at least considerably strong. Their memories were pretty much the same as mine. At one point in time, each of them would be gun gazing at the moon in the desert, just like I did. Oh, snap. From then on, I gradually met more entities with the same form as me. But they were different. They were far different from me. They were simply too weak. Even then, though, I continued to live in this hollow world while swinging my swords at humans to the point where it pretty much had become my routine. I continue to massacre humans on a whim and to my heart's content. Come to think of it, why had I forgotten about these things until now? I killed thousands, no, tens of thousands of humans. Yet recently I somehow don't find massacres to be enjoyable. 
How is that girl any different from all the humans that I've killed so far? And how is that village any different from the cities I've destroyed thus far? Feast of blood and massacres have been very much the only things that quench my thirst. I'll live momentarily. So what exactly am I hesitant about? At any rate, I'm destined to live with this nightmarish boredom for eternity. So what better way to kill time than to wander about and seek momentary pleasures? Oh, Ravi Raviel's awoke. He's awakened. He's been... Oh, oh shit. You again. Why the hell are you? I see. This is your house. I told you before, didn't I? Don't show up in front of me ever again. Otherwise, I'll kill you. I swear I will. I'm no longer hesitant like before. Why? Why the hell are you shedding tears? Thank God! I'm so glad you're okay, Mr. Reviel. Just so we're clear, I'm being... I am a being that lurks in abyssal darkness and lives for eternity. You weak humans can never compare with the likes of me. Yet why? Why the hell do you treat me as nothing more than a human? Are you trying to drive me crazy? Mr. Reviel, you're the same as me. Uh, you, Midia, Cutie, Mr. Maddock, Mr. Rush, and I, we all think, speak, and worry. And it's those which make us human. You're really no different from everyone else. But all of you humans will die sooner or later. Just look at those humans that were killed by vampires and your late mentor. Funerals and graves are just stupid. There's no meaning to them at all. A dead human forever remains dead. There's nothing else to it. Once a human dies, everything about that human returns to nothingness. That's the definite truth. Even so, it's possible to carry on their legacy. Take my late mentor, for example. Although she's already passed away, her legacy along with her spirit continues to live with me even today. How sophistic. Uh, uh. Mr. Reviel, the curse hasn't been fully removed. Don't come near me. Mr. Reviel, please, just rest. You, aren't you afraid of me? In fact, the only reason you're still alive now is because I'm letting you live on a whim. Once my mood changes, you'll be a goner. Ugh. Mr. Reviel, please, you have to rest. I fixed the voice of shit. This guy's insanely powerful. He's a monster. Damn it, damn it. You monster, you freaking monster. Exactly, do you want from me? Well, about that. Can you live in this village? What? I'm sure my words will not be able to reach you. No matter what words I use to explain, they're nothing more than words. Words alone cannot express exactly what I want to tell you. That's why I would like you to live in this village and experience life here. That way you'll surely get to understand my feelings. Are you... Are you testing me, Hugh? Um, I didn't mean it like that. How stupid. You're one strange human. A typical human would no doubt shrink away from me upon knowing my true identity. But not you. Even now, no matter how much I intimidate you, you won't back away. Aren't you afraid to die? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid to die. But I know that you're a good person, so I'm not worried. I've been living for an eternity. And that isn't going to change at any rate. 
I've met a lot of humans, and each and every one of them was but a worthless being. You may be very friendly with me now, but soon enough, you'll be just like them. I must say, though, that you've piqued my interest a little. I'm curious to see just how long you're going to keep up with your delusional perception of me. But Mr. Reviel, does that mean? But don't forget that I'm also testing you. If I ever see you behave in some way as any typical human, that's the time when I'll kill you for sure. Don't worry. That won't happen. I wonder about that. Ah, it's late already. I should head to bed. Mr. Reviel, please continue to use this room just as you've always done until now. Yeah, will do. I'll see you tomorrow then. Be sure to have a good rest, Mr. Reviel. I'm getting into this. I'm too into this. I was just like, ugh. Nice one. Well. I have all the time in the world at any rate. That being said, I guess it isn't half bad to stay in this boring village for some time. Sniggity snap. All right, guys. That's it for this episode of Nocturne Rebirth. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That was that was a good episode. I like that. Uh, Luna didn't get eight by chaos. That's cool. Uh, looks like it looks like uh, Luna and Reviel are kind of getting along. So that's pretty cute. I thought she was going to drop the L-bomb. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for so much for watching. Hit the bell. Like. Subscribe. Uh, if, you, if you liked it, leave me a comment. Say hello. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you guys when I make another one.